we'll come to the positive demonstration of a hand gesture control wheelchair so here we are going to detect the hand gestures uh, nothing but finger counting so whenever we show the fingers in front of the spy camera like one uh, two three four like this we are going to detect them and in our project we coded the program and raspberry pi in such a manner like so two is forward and three is for left and four is right so two is this one also two and this is also two just it will count the fingers my hand and based on that instructions we are going to controlling the wheelchair which is attached to the two dc motors and that can be drive through the l293d motor driver so we are making use of raspberry pi 3 and pi camera to make the total main operations detecting purpose pi camera and the controlling purpose L293D motor driver. The whole system driven by the two batteries. So this is a way of one battery of 12 volt 1 amp. So this is a battery pack of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series. We will get 12 volt 1 amp and which is a rechargeable battery. And this is a one more uh, lithium ion lithium ion battery which is of 3.7 volts uh, 1800, uh, 1800 mAh and uh, which is also rechargeable we are going to recharge this from this boost converter so the main purpose of this pcb is it will convert the 5 volts to 3.7 and 3.7 to 5 volts because the 5 volts is main sufficient voltage to uh, run this raspberry pi and next so let me explain you the charging away uh, process this is the main charger for this 12 volt 1 amp battery so this is the transformer which will uh, which will uh, step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC. So here, just connect this cable to the 230 volts input, and the transformer will step down that. And this regulator power supply board will convert the 12 volts AC to 12 volts pure DC, which is sufficient to charge a battery. And here we wrote the T to the T. We need to cut the connections and B to the B here, right? And after making the connections, it will take at least of uh, eight hours to max of 10 hours so till that time we should keep on on this and this is the main on off switch to run the dc motors only and to run the raspberry pi and whole system just we need to connect it at here and if you want to charge this battery just uh, we need to connect the b type charger right so this is b type charger for this battery charging so here LED indication will be there. So now whenever the light is blinking, it's indicated as the battery is charging. Once the uh, light blinking stops and it on continuously, then it is nothing but the battery is fully charged and you can remove the charger. And here also after completion of time. So here the completion of time and here's the light continuously on. So coming to the interfacing connections, we have interface one LED which will show the status whenever the hand is detected and then automatically the light will be in on condition and it has interface two second pin of our Pi 3 and next 5, 6, 9, 13 pins of our Pi 3 is interface to the L293D motor driver. So L293D is a motor driver which can control two DC motors simultaneously with bi-directional like forward backward motors so now we are going to controlling uh, wheelchair movements in bi -di uh, four directions sorry in the three directions forward backward sorry forward left right so if you want to go to the backward then continuously right or continuously left till you get the backward okay so after the charging section was done just disconnect the chargers from the so-called slots and now Keep in off and now connect this. Right. So wait till this light on and off two times. It is indicated as the Raspberry Pi got initialized. It will take maximum of 12 to uh, maximum 20 seconds. So after that, the light will be on and off. And from then onwards, you can see the camera light also on. Right. Okay. So let me uh, show the demonstration. So you can observe the wheelchair uh, motor status. Initially, we'll show you in that well, and uh, I'll show you directly. So. So while we're demonstrating, you should take care of the more lighting on your hand. Then only it will detect that. Sorry, you need to on this. Right. 
This is a main switch, two for the motors. So, off. forward and backward and next for the four so get sure this Let me show you that. So above 4 automatically stops. So lighting is issue now because some cloudy is there. So I'm able to get the full lighting. So if you place any torch light on your hand, so it will respond properly. Right. I will change the direction. You can see that. Thank you.